Good morning. Saturday morning, about 6.40. I'm gonna head to the gym this morning, do a little arm workout. I already put in a load of laundry, and it's super loud. That kinda got me hyped up for the gym, let's go. The size of my head. It's kind of a fancy life out here, but it's kinda cool at the same time, I guess. Got all the goodies. can never have too much agua. Now I got some sunscreen in there too because I'm white as flip. Yeah, we're just uh, slowly and surely getting packed up here. I'm not filming very much of it because I'm kind of in a hurry and we will be heading outside soon, which is the best thing ever. I love outside. I'm editing a lot lately, working a lot, and I don't want to stare at a screen anymore. I just want to go outside and stare at nature. That's all I want right now. Okay, we got the car ready. Got all our food stuff, all our coffee stuff, clothes for the weekend, and this will be home. We have officially left. I got everything in here. We are ready to go for the night. My favorite fruit right here. Oh yes. Mm. You guys, you guys are gonna learn. I'm always winging it. Hardly ever have a plan. Just kind of go. Just get outside and go. We'll get out into the mountains somewhere. We'll see where we end up. I stopped here at the Salt River. It's called Pebble Beach Recreation Area, I think. And uh, you can walk down to the Salt River, so we'll see what we can find. Salt River. Pretty cool little place. wild horses here sometimes that would be so cool I always hear about people seeing them and I've never seen them yet I want to see wild horses so badly maybe we'll get lucky today who knows ah uh -huh. horses have been here <laughs> nah just kidding just kind of walking through all this stuff making sure I don't get surprised by a rattler if I can see one from a long ways away safe enough to where it can't reach me yes that'd be cool but if I'm seeing one as it's just lunging his teeth into my flesh no thanks. This stuff in here is giving me major like Scar vibes from the Lion King. It's like where Scar and all his hyenas hung out or something. <laughs> and the sun is trying to fight, man. It's fighting. Who knows, maybe if it did pop out, we could go do uh, some paddle boarding after all. But if not today, maybe tomorrow. If tomorrow's nicer, maybe we'll just do it tomorrow. Take what's given to you, you know? That's how a lot of my adventures go. I don't really ever have a set plan. Taking what's given to me. Look how beautiful those are though. Those are so beautiful. Superstitions. And then there's these guys. What the heck are these? Look at them all. Look at all the homies. All the homies just, just kicking. I think that's uh, going to conclude Pebble Beach Recreation Area. So I think we found them, guys. I think we got some wild horses. We're going to see some horses. Let's go. We were successful. We saw some horses. So two different bands and it was incredible. I'm so happy I got to see some horses. It's about 3.30, getting a little late. I wanna go find a camping spot before it gets dark and set up. So unfortunately I have to leave the horses. Woo! That was so cool. Flipping horses. That was awesome. I was gonna go up to Mount Ord and do some camping up there, but look at that. It's all dark and gloomy. It looks like it's raining. That's the direction of Mount Ord and it looks terrible. I don't wanna head that way. A 
Okay, well maybe I'm not gonna go camping tonight. The storm seems to be moving south, so like towards me, and there's it's a lightning storm, and I think it might start pouring rain. Maybe this is nature's sign to uh, say, hey man, don't car camp tonight, just sleep in your bed. <laughs> Cause that looks awful. So that storm is gonna keep me from going north. It's looking like it's getting held up by the mountains right before the superstitions. So I'm just gonna head out into the superstitions and see how it looks. That is the new plan. It's all about just rolling with the waves, rolling with the punches, going with the flow, taking life as it's handed to you. That's what it's all about, so. home for the night I think we found a new spot that's kind of away from the storm that's over there hopefully that storm doesn't come this way but this is our new destination not too shabby the sun's starting to set let's get this chair set up so we can sit down and enjoy the sunset and I might fly the drone a little bit okay so I kind of angled the back of this so it's pointing out over the valley so that way when I wake up in the morning I can just pop up the back and just be looking out over that glorious view yes okay I think it'd be a great time to get the drone up and get a few shots so I'm gonna do that right now This is what I love right here. Got the back of the car. This is where I'll be sleeping tonight, overlooking the valley. Doesn't get any better than that. That it had like a mixture of like the light on the horizon and these dark gloomy clouds up here. That was an awesome sunset. It was so cool. So the light's about to be gone, so I'll probably start getting things tidied up here. We'll get the fire going. So no mosquitoes can get me, get my ankles. Cause they're actually pretty bad right now. Daggum mosquitoes, man. Gotta take a beautiful area and just occupy it, make it annoying. God, I hate mosquitoes so much. Okay, we got the little ring set up. I got our firewood, this little fire starter, and we got this little lighter. So let's get this thing going. For dinner tonight, we're just gonna be eating this sushi that I got from the grocery store. It doesn't necessarily match the vibe, but it's food. <laughs> it's a good Saturday night if you ask me. Desert can be kind of spooky at night. It's a little bit eerie out here in the middle of the night.
crawl into bed, get some sleep. So I have these bug net things that I put over my window so that I can leave my window cracked so I get a good breeze in my car, but I don't get all the bugs. Windows cracked, but the net goes over the door. And then this way you don't get bugs in your car and you can still get a breeze. I love these things. All right, I'm gonna get some sleep, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I slept like a rock in here, in a good way. Like I slept like a baby. Oh yeah. Can't be waking up to views like that. When you wake up to views like that, it reminds you, man, this is why I'm out here. But all right, let's get up. Make some coffee. Look at the production crew I got out here. Getting angles for YouTube, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, TikTok. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes here. Already getting warm out here. <laughs> Much better. Best part. Oh yeah. Whew, so good. Okay, so while I wait for the water to boil, I'll show you guys the view. So cool. I love it out here. This was just my humble abode last night. Yes, coffee's almost done. It is almost ready. Cannot wait. Coffee is finally done. Now we get to consume it. Cheers. Way better than that gas station stuff. This stuff here is actually strong. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you.
And what a beautiful view to enjoy it with. It doesn't get much better than this. Now we just get to relax. making another cup of coffee and I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this cup of coffee not gonna film anything just sit take it all in enjoy it and then that'll be it for this spot once I get all my clips I like to just sit and enjoy it and get no more clips soak it all in make sure I appreciate the moment and then I leave because it's very very easy once you're getting clips to just not even pay attention to where you're at you're just so focused on getting the clips that you're not even present in the beauty of what you're looking at i'm gonna go enjoy this cup of coffee and i'll check back in with you guys in a little bit okay i finished that cup of coffee it was a glorious glorious moment of just soaking it in drinking coffee enjoying the view but now it's time to pack up and i'm gonna get moving so let's get packed up Smells like the campfire though, the best smell. Comment below if you love the smell of campfire or if you hate the smell of campfire on your clothes. I, I love it. I love the smell of campfire on my clothes. It reminds me that I had a glorious night the night before. <laughs> Goodbye little home. It was a pleasure. I'm all packed up, I'm gonna take off. So let's get out of here. Let's go see what else we can find. This is the end of the road, like a dead end right here. Beautiful views. And the sun on my back, oh, feels so good. Can't get enough of that. I love the sunshine. So way over there, up over this hill, is Lake Roosevelt. And this road right here used to go all the way up and over that. It's a dirt road, that's crazy. It's closed now, you can't go over there, but. Meanwhile, I'm walking along the cliff here. Wouldn't want to fall that way, I tell you that much. pop the paddleboard out and get some sun rays and get some sunshine on our skin because we are whiter than Casper <laughs> we could use some sun rays so I'm gonna get the paddleboard out and we're gonna go on a little paddleboard session so let's go
Whew. That's a workout pumping up that thing. Don't even need the gym. All right, it's pumped up and now we're pumped up. Let's get out there. Grab my little dry bag, put all my goodies in here and this keeps everything dry. So phone, wallet, keys, put it in this bag and it'll stay dry. Go up into that canyon. Any luck so far? Not so far. Not so far? They're still asleep. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah. Found a little desert oasis. I just spoke with a nice gentleman back there who is from here. And he said it never runs like this. Like this much water hardly ever happens. It's from the recent snow that they had. So I'm honored to be here. Just look how beautiful this is. It's incredible. So nice out here. I love it. So the current is pushing me this way now, so I don't even have to paddle anymore. I can just sit back and relax. cool canyon to go back and explore and just be between these canyon walls on a paddleboard it was super cool but now we're all packed up we're gonna start heading back into town um, probably gonna get changed and maybe get some food and then we're probably going on a little sunset mission okay time for our little sunset mission so I'm heading out toward the lost Dutchman just to catch sunset real quick but yeah it's been a great weekend so far and no better way than to finish it off with a sunset I love me a desert sunset. It's so good. Okay. We caught the sunset. That will finally conclude this weekend. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future adventures. I'm gonna go home and get ready to go to dinner with one of my friends. She invited me over. She's gonna cook dinner. Very blessed, very grateful for her. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. And until next time, don't stop exploring. See you guys.